August 24, 2018, Friday. We are bringing you Fitbit Friday. And today we will be talking about knowing when to quit your job. Stay tuned. Welcome to Crouchby. This is Dax. This is AJ. We are bringing you Fitbit Friday. Friday. And again, today we will be talking about knowing when to quit your job. We previous episode tayo dito about how yeah, to quit your well, job. We fight. actually had a, a couple of episodes. Yeah, and one is how to oh, how? how how to quit your uh, nine to five job. So basically, that focused on what you can do after. Mm-hmm. You uh, quit, so you, parang. Atong episode to is for the when uh, part. Yeah, and of course another um, episode that we discussed before, one of our few first uh, couple of episodes was why employees ah, quit. leave yeah. uh, the, leave the company. Yeah. yeah. So ito, this would basically be uh, we would be focusing on knowing our on the signs that you uh, would that it it is already time for you to. Uh, leave your job for mm-hmm. greener pastures. So unfortunately, of course, um, hindi naman natin may iwasan na at some point, even if we try to stay as, as long as we can, uh, stay as loyal as, as uh, we can to a specific company or certain company, there are gonna be some cases where um, we would need to separate. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would need to leave the job for some of these reasons. So, I'm just wondering, ano ba dito? Isa ba sa mga factor na to is Kapag ba naalagaan ka ng company, is there a, uh, a chance na alis ka pa rin sa trabaho mo? Well, depende. Naalagaan in what sense? He, they're providing everything you want. You know, pag uh, nag-request ka ng ganito. Well, okay. syempre, siguro hindi na. Kasi uh-huh. that would be, well, that would, one, that would be very ungrateful. Mm-hmm. Pero, syempre, if you, if, Um, you hate your account, for example. Kunwari, yung mga job na na-assign sa'yo. Well, kung binibigyan naman lang company mo lahat ng their request mo, probably pag nag-request ka na palipat ka na account. Or mag-leave ka ng two weeks. Pwede naman siya. Possible. Mm-hmm. Kasi may mga... I never experienced it. <laughs> kasi, kasi sa amin, may mga nag-LOA. Okay. Um, nag-LOA. Mm-hmm. Mga nag- mga, okay. May mga nag-extended leaves talaga. So... Ano naman? It, it it really depends. Pero siguro if if your company is actually taking care of you the right way, there would be no reason for you to leave. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero again, may may mga times kasi na it's sometimes it's very inevitable that yeah. that you would need to leave your um, current position. So uh, of course we would be these would be the signs that it's time for you to quit your job. Um, number one. You're always ready to go home. Mm-hmm. Honda, Honda, na as in unwilling ka na na kahit na may mga mandatory OT. Yeah, that's me. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And si kung two minutes before time, before the end of your shift, ready ka na. Papak ka na. Ah, uh, this one. Eh. <laughs> Actually, yeah. If you guys remember our episode where we talked about the types of people yeah, you meet yeah. at work, the E Hondas. Yeah, esy, yeah, esy. Yeah. Sila yung mga E Hondas, yung everyday Honda, de ba? Na, siguro, well, one, of course, one of the reasons why you're always on, uh, parang always ready to go home. Since you're no longer, since you don't like your job anymore, parang you don't think, or parang nasasayangan ka na sa oras na yeah. you spend exactly. more time at work. Mm-hmm. So as much as possible, syempre, you what you would want to do is parang makipagbakbakan ka na sa, tra- sa travel time uh, traffic. Or tapos, life balance. Uh, tapos para pagka uwi mo, makapag-relax ka na. Diba? Hindi pong sinasabi mo na sa ano mo na I, I spent nine hours in this hole. And, yeah. <laughs> in this hole. And then, yeah. what do I get? Uh, being You people being grateful na hindi para, ako nag-OT. Ay, yeah, I saw that. Ikaw yeah. ba nag-post na? Ikaw ba nag-share na? I think that's me. I, I, I saw that video. Yeah. 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 Uh, the Indian dude who... Pero mala, maganda yung point niya. Yeah, yeah. kasi tama naman eh. Kasi... Uh, some, the company is paying some, for you. Sometimes we actually glorify those guys who extend their work hours just because hmm. parang tapos we... 
para medyo nakakondem yung mga tao na ginagawa yung trabaho nila in a shorter period tapos but efficiently uh, efficiently yeah. pero ano, kasi parang yun yan na na, na naging mahaba yung working hours nun kasi in, it's inefficient uh, running, running breaks yes yeah. tapos ano nga <laughs> pero again the first two uh, we won't be focusing on that parang again so of course you're always ready to go home kasi you don't want to spend any more time at work Uh-huh. which is already a telltale a telltale sign. sign yeah so you want to spend more time uh, doing what you really else. want mm. somewhere yeah. else anywhere else but work right? so that was uh, that was one always ready to go home another one is it's not as exciting as it was before so darating na darating na sa point na yan eh. oh especially if you've uh-huh. been in a, in a company for let's say years. three years mm-hmm. or more that was Um, <laughs> nalalo ko yung days na nag-agent pa ako back then. Well, I'm, I'm still agent an agent today. today. <laughs> agent ulit ako guys. Ulit. <laughs> Pero back then, Congrats on your job. <laughs> nag-ano ako nun eh. Free RDOT. If you guys, oh, for your information, okay. RDOT is rest day overtime. Yeah. So kahit di ka required pumasok, on, eh, rest day mo eh. Oh, obviously. Uh, tapos papasok ka just to help your teammates pero hindi ka magpapabayan. Walang OT. Wala. Huh? Why? Wal- walang overtime. Nag-volunteer lang ako eh. So nag-render ka lang. Just lang. because I like what I'm doing. Oh, Back yeah. then. Uh-huh. Yun, yun. So, yun. And ano rin eh. Especially kung, for example, bago ka pa lang. Mm. And you're in a... Abibo state. Abibo <laughs> ka and you're actually willing or you're looking forward to learning something yeah. new. Yeah, that's, a, that's diba? exactly new the point. New skills. Now. Tapos, ano ka pa, hopeful ka pa for growth. Excited ka pang, right. ano, excited, excited ka pa. Kasi, master in business. Oh, kasi, okay. ano, nung training kayo, nag-promise sila na in two to three months, pag kaya nyo ma, ano, kaya nyo ma-praise eh. Tapos, after yeah. that, pwede na kayo mag-apply for, ano. Hindi, hindi nangyari sa'yo yun. <laughs> Shush. <Huh? laughs> I mean, no, I, I don't know, pero there two are actually, Two to three actually, months. There are actually some cases where, hmm. ano, parang they, um, well, yes, the, the promise they make can be true pero mm. hindi nila inexplain sa iyo or hindi they didn't actually like you know that it would be a very bloody 2 to 3 months uh, what it will take uh, what for you to get take. there uh, pero it is possible diba pero ang ano kasi minsan sometimes they over exaggerate their um promises mm, uh, yeah yun nga parang after after mo ano pwede ka na mag-apply for other positions kasi there there are a lot of o- other open positions this is just your basic gateway uh, and hindi na pioneering way uh, <laughs> so syempre ang ano mo you're excited tapos yeah. pagka ano ka na parang if you're working in that cycle for let's say six months one mm. year or more parang you you start to see the bigger picture Yeah. Na it it apparently it's not as easy as they say. Uh, you'll start to see the negative, the dark side yeah. of the company. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, have you seen the article? Uh, yeah, Google for Google. No. There's there was an article for Google employees. The complaints of Google employees. Ah, because the ang na ang na emphasize because especially if you guys are uh, um, if you're if you guys are familiar with the intern internship. The intern. Shit. The intern. The, the intern is ano eh, anat. So, the, was the internship is anat or yata. The internship. The internship. Yeah. Yeah. See si, ano? Uh, si Owen Wilson and yeah. uh, Vince. Uh, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was them. So yun parang ano nga nila sa. Uh, oh, we're not. We're we're not. Ni namin si Nisi Ra yung bukid kasi uh-huh. this is parang based on yung article ng article. And general ano, yeah. general outlook, perspective yeah. ng ng mga tao sa Google. Yeah. Kasi, Kasi free lunch, oh, free, yeah, meals, free lunch, right? free meals, right? Diba? Pero apparently of course you can't um hindi mo naman talaga maiiwas. And there will be some complaints. There will be some mm. dark sides. Kasi there is no such thing as a perfect company, a perfect right. job. Mm. Diba? It's all everything's going to have its setbacks. So, yun nga, parang with this, again, you're not as excited as you were before. You're not really looking forward to learning anything. Kasi parang feeling mo within that the span of time you spent in that company, mm. nakita mo na lahat from the good, the bad, and the worst. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, diba? So, yun, it's not as, uh, it's not as enticing, exciting anymore. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, and another one, another reason, or another sign that that it is our lead that we're to the job. This one is obvious. Mm. Yeah. Minimal to zero smiling <laughs> when you're at work. Mm-hmm. So, syempre, at the mga point na, ano, you feel like you're dragging yourself to work. Na, oh, yeah. Parang, ah, pinipilit mo na lang. Kakapasok mo lang, gusto mo na umuwi, and some things like that. Oo, tsaka ano, oh, yeah, siguro parang ganun, kasi you're only going to work kasi you need it. Mm. Diba? Pero, it's not really something that you uh, enjoy anymore. Enjoy doing anymore. Mm-hmm. So, yun. Ano eh, may mga specific din kasi, especially kunyari, if you're, if you're an agent who does calls, mm-hmm. di ba? Smiling, even if you're not, even if you're not face to face with your mm-hmm. customer, with the person you're talking to, they will notice. Na nararamdaman din kasi nila if you're mm-hmm. actually happy with what you're doing, or if you're just there for your basic salary or yeah. para dun sa sahod, mm-hmm. exactly. di ba? So, kung hindi ka nang umingiti, or kung very rarely ka na lang talaga umingiti, or yun, umingiti ito matawa mm-hmm. during work hours. It, I think it's already time. Like that, in previous episode, you you told us about uh, your yeah, mind setting yeah. with Miss oh, uh, There was actually this uh, you know, this one instant, parang mga two weeks or one week ako hindi gumingiti straight. Tapos pagka nagko-call so, parang nakikita lang ako ulit na tumatawa na ang mga team ko. Pag wala kang trabaho. Pagka break. Uh, <laughs> during lunch yeah. break or uh, yung mga ano, mga break break. So parang ano, Nung time na yun, I would actually have to admit, I was really burnt out at work. Parang mm-hmm. I was already contemplating stuff. Pero yun, I was able to get back on the horse, mm-hmm. <laughs> so to speak. Tapos parang ano, yun nga. Pero syempre, it's something that you can't really avoid, especially with the quality of um, quality of leads or quality of work that you have, di ba? And yun nga. Um, especially you know, during calls, kahit na hindi ka nakikita ng customer, they, they would be able to tell. Yeah, they they would actually be able to tell if you're just there yeah. for um, for other purposes. Kasi you will actually know, kahit hindi ka agent, kahit you're just ano, may kausap ka lang sa phone, wala ka kausap sa girlfriend. Hmm. Maano notice mo pagka nakangiti sila? Parang dead yung ano kasi uh, pagka hindi, parang dead yung tone. Yeah, pero pag nakangiti sila, mapa parang mapapansin mo na ng umiti sila. Mas lively. Yeah. Oh. Actually, yeah, that is actually mm-hmm. true. Na hindi don, you don't really need to see the person to know if they're actually smiling or if they're happy with what they're doing. Yeah. Because eto, this would actually be a very obvious na telltale sa tell tell tale. I have <laughs> a problem with saying that. It's all right. Term. Mm-hmm. Yeah, parang ano nga? Because it, it means that you're not happy, di ba? It mm. means you don't find any more satisfaction with what you're doing or where you're at. Even micro expression, and yung, may, yung smile oh. na micro expression, di marilis. Uh-uh. <laughs> because you're not really happy. Yeah. <laughs> Pero yeah, that was that was another one. Minimal to zero smiling when you're at work. And another sign, okay, that um, it is time for you to quit your job. It's affecting your health. So this is a very drastic or critical sign. Yeah, I felt this. You need to look at because. Mm-hmm. I would be honest. I'm mm-hmm. sharing this from experience. Before, because um, I was transferred to a different account, I was working in inbound sales before. Um, yung account kasi niyan, it was very relaxed. So mm-hmm. sobrang relaxed na well, walang pressure. Since sobrang walang pressure, we were just basically there taking calls. Pero hindi consecutive yung calls. Hindi, hindi consecutive. Talaga. We had like an avail time of mm-hmm. 45 minutes to 2 hours. Average? Depending on the day. Oh, I see. Pero may mga times na nagsaspike yung queue. Pero still, it was relaxed. So, nung time na yun, I was gaining weight, apparently. Hmm. Nagigain ako ng weight. Tumbo, ano, nap- nag- napapansin ng mga relatives ko and ng mga teammates ko ni Sai, syempre, na tumataba ako, tapos nagkaroon ako. Nagkar- nagkaroon ako na naman. I wasn't fat. Nagkaroon hmm. ako ng laman. Tapos, um, nung time na lumipat kami, nung nalipat ako ng account. Na wala yung nagain mo? Mm. Kasi bago kami lumipat, pumunta kami sa bahay ng mom ko. Tapos nakita ko yung weighing scale na doon. Dahil gano'n ako, nag- nagtimbang ako. Obviously, that's so, what you do kapag was, kami nakita weighing scale. Yes. <laughs> I was around baka 68 uh-huh. kilos. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, we had our APE a couple of months ago. Parang that was last month. Uh, ilang months na ako nag-work sa bagong account man. I dropped to 62.5. So, 
God, that was pretty drastic. Mm-hmm. So yun, parang it's affecting your health. It's you're losing weight. Tapos you. Iba yung effect sa iba't ibang tao. Yeah, pero that would be one uh, very obvious ano or drastic yeah. change ng weight. Uh, okay. it's, okay. Uh, uh-huh. You're experiencing a drastic change of weight. Because some people, pag nasa stress they like me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, gain. just to share lang, I gained nine pounds sa start nung nag-start ako mag-work kasi it's it's my first time taking in calls uh-huh. uh, and I'm not really used to the environment the workload uh, and how how things go pag uh, nagko-calls ka and I was surprised nung first day kong mag ano mag-calls first day first day ko lang din mag night shift ko din uh-huh. uh, I was so stressed nung first day ko pero as the day goes by no babawas na ng stress but kinocompensate ko ng pagkain uh-huh. meron times na <laughs> Usually, ano lang ako, two meals a day. Ngayon, four na eh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, yeah, yeah. I noticed the changes naman. So, I'm I did. gonna take control. <laughs> of... nung, nung nakita kita ko na, I did. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just I was just too polite not to say that you look like a cabinet. <laughs> Sabi niya, puto. <laughs> <laughs> you dare! <laughs> Sabi niya, lola ng girlfriend ko. Kasi, I, I, we met her last night lang. Uh-huh. Uh, tapos, na, na, last time we met, before pa dito'ng before pa last night was a few months ago. Ah, okay. Uh, na, mga medyo hindi pa naman payat, hindi naman payat pero hindi ka going there na. Nasa gitna ng point. Oh, kasi ano, wait. Before anong weight mo? Before I was ano ba, pinaka payat ko? Uh-huh. 156. 156. Yes. Now you're right, 190. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. It's crazy. That's 40 pounds. Tapos yung in lola niya, alam ko may filter yun, eh, hiya pa yun eh. Pero the moment she saw me, pagbukas ng pinto, sabi ng lola niya, ang taba ako na. Ang taba mo na. <laughs> oh my gosh. No <laughs> life filter. Uh, it's time. It's really time for me to take control of my health and my, you know, life. Aside from that, aside from yung drastic na ano na weight changes. Um, it shows. It shows on your skin. Skin. Yeah, para okay. tumatanda ka lang. Tumatanda, you're, you're, you seem dried out. Mm, like mm. you're like you right now. You have dark circles under your eyes. Is that that's because I've been <laughs> staying up late for Really? Is that time. really the case? Yes. Okay. Kasi ano eh, ever since the internet got hooked up, ano, parang ang ano namin is I since I spend a lot of time at work, 'di ba? 9 to 9 to 6 mm. shift ko. So, I usually leave for work around 8 o'clock. Yeah. So, Between eight and six, na sa trabaho ko, eh. so I'm not really able to spend a lot of time here. Um, Nagiging uh, habit namin every day. Magdadalo siya ng movie while I'm at work. Tapos pagkagabi mm-hmm. bago matulog, manonood kami. Uh-huh. So yun yung pinakamahal nice namin. Uh-huh. So yun, since pag ano, pag kamayo mahaba ba yung movie na nandang yun? Nagubuyat <laughs> ng country. Mm, depends sa mm-hmm. movie kung di uh-huh. mo kadaugan. Tapos pag ka nabitin sa isang movie, sa pa? Sa pang movie. Mm-hmm. So, yun, na, napupuyat. Pero, yun, aside from, yun nga, ga- losing, gaining weight, medyo, ano, nagiging dry yung skin, tapos yun, mm-hmm. you, you're getting, ano, dark circles. Parang, ano rin, shows on other aspects of your body. Tapos yun, parang, ang ano kasi nito, if you're stressed, you start, especially if you guys are, um, not smoking, but you start to smoke more, mm-hmm. you start to drink more, di ba? So, ano, parang indirectly it affects your health. Yeah, yeah. I get stress, your point. Uh-huh. Diba? So, yun, if it's affecting your health, it is a very um, ano to, red flag na talaga to. Eh. Mm-hmm. Aside from ano nga, aside from who oh, you not sl- smiling anymore, pag na pag naapektuhan na kasi yung health mo, it it raises a red flag kasi one The reason why we're working is to make our lives better. Mm-hmm. For the reason we're working is to force earn so yeah. that we can improve our way of living. Yeah. Pero if your job is actually taking a toll on your health, what's that, the point? That's a step back. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Parang mas gear you. Ang ano lang kasi nito, may pera ka nga. Pero yung pera mo gagastos mo rin sa ano, mm-hmm. sa hospitalization, medicine and stuff, di ba? Parang You took one step forward, you took two steps back. Pero may nagsabi na ano eh, you can't have both. Diba? You can try. You can try having both, pero it's hard having both. Well, not no. if you're happy with your job. Mm, yeah, 
Well, makes sense. Because mm-hmm. if kung hindi ka naman, so there there's always something that you should sacrifice mm-hmm. for yes. whatever you want to keep. Doing. Yeah. Pero still, the reason why we're working is of course again to have a better life. Yeah. So, kung masadong provide for the family. Oh, to provide mm-hmm. for your family. Eh, kung masadong parang dapat provide ng sa family mo pero you don't spend uh, enough time with them. Oh yeah, one that's one, and it's also at expense of your health. Mm-hmm. You should contemplate. It should be ta- it. I think it's already time for you to contemplate. Yeah, yeah. And since you did already mention yung ano nga sa what you said family sacrifices. Yeah, it's sacrifice my mm-hmm. family. This is another sign. It's it's affecting your relationship outside the world. Mm-hmm. So, sino ba mga tao na kasubido mo outside of your world? Of course, it's your family. Yeah, it's your, your girlfriend friends, or your yeah, friends. Significant mm-hmm. other, your friends, family. Siyempre Sh- kasi, it's a given fact. We spend about 9-10 hours a day mm-hmm. at work. So, siyempre, kung makikihalubido ka talaga, you would spend a lot of time with your workmates. Yes. Your teammates, TL, and stuff. Pero, siyempre, it's very important for you to spend time with other people. Yeah. Dito papasok yung work-life balance, uh, tinatawag. Yes. Unfortunately, um, hindi, uh, well, this is actually a good thing about TPOs kasi hindi masyadong affected ang outside your relationships sa B- if you're working at the TPO kasi mm. usually your, your, your schedule is fixed. But, for people who like me, di ba yung aking significant other is morning yeah. and I'm a night shift guy. So, siguro ang pinaka uh, ano na lang namin weekend. is weekend. Weekend. You with can, uh, with no s. Uh, wait, <laughs> no, no, just Saturday, just Saturday. Because so <laughs> usually, ang con ang communication namin is through PM PM na lang. Mm-hmm. And usually, kapag kapapasok ako, pauwi na siya. Uh-huh. Tapos pag nasa bahay na siya, nasa nagwork na ako, uh-huh. di ba? So wala na, wala na talaga ng usap usap yeah. masaya. So it kind of sucks if depends sa schedule pa rin. Uh-huh. So yes. you have to pick a job na talagang mag-fit sa social life mo. Uh, yeah. Pero, yun, may, well, aside from that, yun, scheduling is a good, is actually a big factor. Pero, mm-hmm. what we're emphasizing is normal working hours ka. Mm-hmm. Pero, again, this does, this very rarely, rarely applies to BPOs. Kasi, again, since fixed niya. Mm-hmm. Um, This usually applies to mga ano, OTs. Oh, there's oh. mga parang what's all this? Um, on call na jobs. Yeah, yung tipong rest day mo tapos oh. pagkuntain ka. Oh, so parang mm. yes, yung time na supposedly allotted for yourself and for family or friends na consume din ni work. Mm-hmm. So, syempre again, since hindi naman pwedeng puro work lang, yeah. di ba? We have to live our, for ourselves as well. Since again, we have to have a work life ano balance yeah diba? and also it's not it's not just a case yung tipong schedule lang uh domino effect yan yung stress if you feel stress you'll feel irritable mm. tapos maapektuhan yung yung uh, kumbaga temperament mo mm. pato uh, pagitong mo sa ibang and yung mga napepent up mong frustration yung mga inis yung you really want to quit your job but hindi mo magawa dahil nga marami kang babayaran mm-hmm na ibabaling mo sa iba na wala namang ginagawang masama sa iyo. Yeah. So there. So yeah, it also affects that mm. in that way. So again, yeah, that, that's also like another telltale sign that you do need to contemplate. Mm. Kasi di ba syempre again, if, if it's in yeah, inaaway mo yung mga tao sa paligid mo dahil mm. dahil stress ka indirectly and ang um, parang kahit na unintentional Mm-hmm. Na, ano, parang since you're already stressed, you're already pissed off. It's para sobrang ano na hindi kan talaga mo siya. So parang yeah. kahit na and bit niya parang kahit normal lang talaga. Parang you easily get a lot more pissed off. Diba? So that's another sign. And the last one that we have, you hate your job. Yeah, obviously. So, <laughs> if you hate your job. Ano na dai? Parang wala na, wala na ibang basa. It, it's the end of the road. <laughs> uh, parang wala na, wala na talaga. Finish. Pero, pero is there a chance? Kung mare, you hate your job at first. Well, well may, may chance pa ba na ganun? Or ang applicable to sa, you like your job at first, 
and then you started to hit you your jump, and then downhill from there. Yeah, yeah. Siguro. Uh, kasi, uh, well, wala nang chance to recover. Oh, oh wala nang oh. talaga. Okay. Pero kasi, if for example, ano, like ano, before, I used to hate my job because I was in that a specific campaign. Hmm. Tapos, yun, I really hated going to work every day. Tapos, nilipot ako. So, medyo mas na, ano, ayun, parang, I just stuck with it. Hindi, hindi ako, hindi muna ako nag-give up. Hmm. So, na, napabuti pa na nilipot ako ng, ano, ng campaign. Oh, so, okay. that had a positive effect. Pero, eto kasi, if you're, parang, ano na nga, you spent one, or six months, one year at a, at the company, tapos, ano na, you're wala nang pag-asa para hopeless na. na. Oh, kasi parang inano mo na eh, tinry mo na talaga mag-stay mm-hmm. as long as you can. Tinry mo na lahat ng ano ng mga work around, mindset and all that. Mm-hmm. Tapos ano kana, bu- uh, anong parang bumabalik ka na kung bakit ka nandoon. Paulit-ulit mo na sinasabi sa sarili mo nandito ako para sa mm-hmm. family ko. It's time. Pero mm-hmm. you still Is it really worth find it? yourself uh-huh. asking you, you still find yourself asking if yon if it's really still if it's still worth it mm so when you're not family mo pero you you hate your job na wala ka nang time ano ba lagi ka na stressed every day dahil nga you hate your job yeah <laughs> so that that would be the the biggest sign that you would need to um need to leave your job pero again it would be a case to face basis kasi if you're if you already hate your job on the first day parang Give it some time, di ba? Yeah. Try mo muna bago ako maya. Maybe it's gonna work out. Kasi yun, like, like with my situation, na, nalipat ako ng bagong account, which was, ano, back in 2015, nalipat ako. Mm-hmm. So, na, na, mas okay yung naging campaign ko during that time, yung, yung inbound. Okay. Yeah. So, yun. So, those are just some of the signs that you need to leave your job. Pero, of course, after, uh, once you do leave your job, Once yeah. you leave your job, yeah, mag-isip your ka ng job options. options. Yeah. Mag-isip ka na ng options mo, what you can actually do to, of course, for you to earn. Diba? So one is, of course, you take an extended break. Uh, yeah. Pero this is, ano, parang while you're actually still contemplating mm. um, leaving your job, kasi baka na-burn out ka lang. Yeah. Uh, pag-isip mo muna and if you know pag pagbalik mo you still, you still have the same job. feeling oh ayun talaga uh, ako na gagawa uh, so search muna you know for example two weeks uh, two weeks is an extended oh, break na yan di ba oh, oh. punta ka sa mga yeah, places that week, you really want to go nga lang ano na yun mahaba na yun hmm. so yun it, again like what I said before you actually quit on the job Especially if you're just if you feel you hate your job before you quit. Give him a second chance. Give him one second chance. <laughs> siguro, pahinga. If, if you've been working for a long time at uh-huh. that company already, siguro baka kailangan lang magpahinga kasi uh-huh. na-burnout ka lang. Siguro nas- nagsawa ka lang sa everyday na cycle mo mm-hmm. with that job. From And your the people. To, yeah, the people. <laughs> so maybe it's just time for you to take a break but not, not exactly quit. Uh, magisip-isip ko muna. Uh, magisip-isip ko muna. And then, like what, what AJ said, if uh, once you get back, you still feel the same about your job, if you don't like, still don't like it, or the people around you, the cycle, your day-to-day um, um, habits or stuff like that, then that would be the time that you would need to do your job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So another one, another option that you have is, of course, once you leave your job, is to find a new company. So, of course, wala namang hahanap. Hindi ka naman hahanap ng worse sa company na nandoon oh, ka ngayon sure. right you'll find better benefits yeah. better uh, environment better pay, uh, better pay yeah. yeah yeah so syempre again you're once when you leave a company or when you when you leave a position you're always gonna go look for greener pastures mm-hmm. diba syempre uh, if you're earning sabi natin you're earning around 30 every month 30k every month maghanap ka ba ng trabaho na that's gonna pay you 18k a month diba? depende diba? if that works a lot easier siguro kung sobrang pressured ka sa trabaho yeah, mo pero you have ano you have responsibilities well you have hanap ka na mas taas pa pag wala na talaga 
<laughs> no, you're not gonna settle for that. Uh, Pero siyempre, as much as possible, if you, your main, your basic instinct or your first choice would be the highest that, paying, you know, the highest paying co- company that you can find after the one you have. Mm. Sometimes, means, hmm, sometimes even higher than what you're getting. Yeah. Because it, but there are actually some cases where if you're already experienced in a specific position, they would, e- they would either match or parang give you a higher salary than what you have. Yeah. Diba? Depends on uh, years of experience. Yeah, depends on uh, years of experience. Depends on position mo din. Mm-hmm. See? And yun, yeah, that was another one, new company. And another, another option that you have, if you already hate your job, if you're already hating what you're doing at that specific moment, is try if your company provides lateral transfers. Or promotion. Yeah, promotion. Yeah. But the different uh, environment, uh, ibang position, different learning experience. Oh, uh, yeah. Because if, for example, you're in sales, if you're in, you've been working in sales for uh, mm-hmm. quite a long time already, and parang wala ka ng feeling mo, wala ka ng patutunguan. Yeah. You're not learning anything anymore. You're already tired of the same, ano, parang it's same, same ish, different day, mm-hmm. di ba? So if if a Uh, if a position or if a different position opens up, grab it. Grab it. Mm. Yeah, grab it by the 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 the, the, the sack. <laughs> <laughs> you put me in uh, in a difficult position right there. <laughs> Pero yeah, grab it by the balls. <laughs> okay, sinabi. <laughs> okay, so yun may ay ay na may napanat ako ng uh, video kanina. A certain YouTuber said. Ang one cause of being stuck in a rut, yung parang you're depressed, you're listless yeah. and and motivated, is because you one of the reasons is because wala kang natututo ng bago. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have to find something that will engage your brain, that will excite you, na uh-huh. magana sa interest mo kung baga. Mm-hmm. And since nagwork ka sa work mo, for example nga sabi mo you've been doing calls for four years. Mm-hmm. Uh, wala ka nang natututunan, wala nang nakaka-excite sa'yo, maybe it's time to find something na magtuturo sa'yo ng bagong experience. Yeah. Kung nga leadership. Kung nga uh, yeah, A different position yeah. that would teach you more, more stuff. Yung kung paano mag-handle ng mga tao, yeah, mm-hmm. that is actually true. That is one of the signs that we have, di ba? If it's not as exciting as it was before. Yeah. So, um, yun nga, with, your, with a lateral transfer, with uh, applying for a promotion, na open up din na no. go open up karap parin kasi ng mga bagong door doorway yeah. either new skill sets oh. new tools new knowledges para do sa specific tatas para naman kasi kaya you you interact with new people that's right oh, kasi right. di ba sure if you're an agent usually you you just gonna interact with mga agent agents din hmm. Ta- siguro ang pinaka malayo na na ma- may interact mo would be supervisor, your supervisor. Mm-hmm. pero kasi if you're like I a is ATL a team team leader. Sabi makikipag parang nakikihalubilo ka sa mga program manager, sa mga manager, operation manager, the yeah. higher uh-huh. ano, higher steps in the uh-huh. ladder. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, syempre, ano din eh with uh, with parang sa pakikihalubilo mo sa sa mga taong 'yon, syempre you're learning new things, new things with uh-huh. how to handle people and you can find a mentor within them, uh-huh. diba? Among them, uh-huh. diba? So yun, if your company offers lateral lateral transfer, if you have an open position, you can grab it by the balls. Mm-hmm. As long as wala na talagang cho- no, choice kung pag, no? pag wala na talagang no. ano, pag wala na talagang choice, or if you're already at the end of your rope mm-hmm. sa position mo, di ba? And another one is well, this is once you actually quit your job, mm-hmm. try work from home. Because right now we have. There are a lot of different positions, but para, parang um, online assistant, the yeah, virtual, virtual assistant, assistants. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tapos aside from that, may mga graphic designers, yeah. oh, yung mga part-time jobs, mm-hmm. mga ano, freelance, freelancers. Yeah, that's yeah. What you call it. Oh, pero this is a totally go-to option ng mga taong ano ba? Na, na feel nila na nakikage sila sa 9 to 5. Sa 9 to 5, 9 to 6. Wala silang freedom, pumunta sa party ng kaibigan dahil nga may pasok, for example. And since you're working from home, ako may oras mo, hindi yeah. mo kailangan mag-BS. Kahit naka-shorts or boxers ka, you can do your job. Pero <laughs> depende rin kasi sa ano eh. Kung may chat. Yeah. Oh, kasi may mga work kasi na you have to log in at a specific hour kasi. 
may, may oras din. Yeah, so, so still. Yeah. May option ka naman. You have a wide variety of choices oh. para pagpilian. Oh. Diba? Pero yun nga, you can, ano, pag di ka ba virtual assistant, mm-hmm. you, you, if you have a very specific special set of skills, mm-hmm. uh, you can, ano, you can do freelance work, you can yeah. graphic design, video editing. All in the comforts uh, of your home. Yeah, all in the comfort mm-hmm. of your home. Tapos yun, another online job that we have, yung parang ano, tutor, di ba? Teaching, English shooter. Uh, yeah. Teaching English to. Yeah. I don't want to see less fortunate countries. We <laughs> don't know how to speak English. English. <laughs> well, uh, other countries. Other na countries. So Hindi ano. Not as fluent. Because the Philippines is ano ba? Ang second language natin kung bakay English. English. Yeah. Iba. Because dahil nga sa dami na naginbait sa atin. <laughs> una Spanish, tas American. Naturo natin na maraming language. Yeah. Pero ang nakip lang natin ay. Siguro yung mga older generation nakip yung Spanish. Oh, yung mga uh, mura nila, Spanish. <laughs> yung mga iho. <laughs> uh, But, dito mga newer generation is slowly uh, leaning towards American. Na-Americanized na. Yung mga yung meme na na-Americanized. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Pero, pero ano rin kasi talaga, it, it is very helpful, it is very useful for us to learn English. Which That's is right. actually something that I would want or I would actually wish everyone would do. Kasi... Mm-hmm. Universal language. It's English true. is the universal uh-huh. language. They, people say it's love, but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's English. Oh. Guys, it's English. Can you communicate through love? Ah, what about Using love? love? Oh, okay. Well, if you say Chinese, then may 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 <laughs> I'm not making a joke kala <laughs> may Chinese tapos mayroong American tapos niyakap siya ng Chinese well it, it 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 will translate to it, it, it's either you're gonna be punched or whatever <laughs> depending on how you uh, do that pero mm, no we're not talking about that English <laughs> English as a Uh, as uh, it's just a segue. It's a segue. It's a true ano, nitong conversation. <laughs> English, as, English as this um, universal language. Because mm-hmm. there are a lot of, there are still a lot of um, Filipinos, given the fact that um, our country is actually one of the few countries who was hindi, blessed. Hindi native, hindi not mm-hmm. native language, but a, a huge chunk of the population can speak yeah. in English or understands English but unfortunately hindi lahat so as much as possible we try to have everyone speaking in English fluently and and as much as possible in a correct grammar hindi yung we will but gonna but English hindi yung we will gonna and uh, <laughs> pet peeve yeah, uh, we, we will gonna we, we will gonna <laughs> did you eat breakfast uh, already? did you eat already? <laughs> yeah, as much as possible yes But yun yun yun. Why were we talking about this again? Yun, 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 yun. Work from home, yun, English, English tutor. Home, yun, talking <laughs> or teaching English to other countries. Na usually, naman ang magiging students mo would be like Koreans and Chinese. Japanese as well. Japanese. Um, oh, pero minsan I think they have an English an English subject. Hmm. In Japanese, pero I think it's not being taught. Sa, Elementary. Ah, so elementary yeah, usually, di ba? Kailangan oh, yung English. Pero ang ano kasi, ang advantage kasi natin sa Philippines, why why we can actually do this job, hmm. yung mga teaching English, mga tutor ng English. And kasi, taking in calls from Americans. Uh, or, uh, uh, kasi other. we actually have a, as, well, not neutral, kasi we do have, some some people have that Filipino accent. Hmm. Na I, I actually am able to detect parang dare recognize ko siya kasi I, I, I do calls mm. di ba and pagka may sumagot na ganong yung accent I Filipino to uh, I'm <laughs> able to tell Filipino to mm. kasi parang pero uh, we actually have a neutral ish accent mm. not like with um, with Indian countries or yeah, parang what, what yeah Indian countries di ba they have a very thick accent mm. di ba so tayo kasi medyo neutral so we can do this job very efficiently yung pagtutor tutor so that would be one of our yeah, we actually um, that, that was a bit off topic but yeah that, you can actually do these jobs more online jobs and stuff <laughs> yeah uh, right in the comfort of your home that would be one of your options and um, the last option. one that you have is mm-hmm. build a business or start a business uh, well starting mm-hmm. starting and building yeah, starting 
well, starting and building a business, like you said earlier, is actually pretty different. Hmm. Kasi if you're starting a business, it means wala ka pang isimulan. Where you're basically starting Or, from scratch. Kung baga naglagay ka na foundation, but you never... Uh, you never start. Mm. You, you never really mm. went past the foundation. Yeah. You never improve. Mm-hmm. As with well, uh, as with you're building a business, parang you already have something started, di ba? Mm. May foundation ka na, nag, nag, you're all you already started operating. Um, pero you're you're building it para to make it better. Mm. Parang sinalaga mo siya, di ba? So building a business is a very good way for you to first one earn without being locked into a nine to six or nine yeah. to five job. How many hours mo? Saka, aside from that, again, if you take into account Dan Locks Wealth Triangle, diba? you're able to maximize your and maximize your profits then. Mm-hmm. Earning potential, so, uh, earn potential and this chance of being successful mm-hmm. in the future. Diba? So, those are just some of your options. Because again, building a business, because I, I, I keep forgetting who said this. It's no, not for everyone. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. yeah, the one, yes, that is true. It's not for everyone, but Nobody ever got rich from working a nine to five job. Mm, mm, that's that's right. Diba? Mm. So I forgot if, to say that. Yeah. But, if you would, mm. if you want to be rich, if you want to be successful, don't limit yourself in just a nine to five job. Because again, this is well. This episode is basically science for you to quit. Science of for you knowing when to quit your job. Mm-hmm. And of course, you quit because one. Well, isa yun. That's actually another reason or another sign that you will need to quit your job. Na ano kana? Nasasakal kana sa oras ng um, trabaho, yeah. mm. di ba? And aside from that, um, well, given nasasakal kana and parang hindi sapat yung ino earn mo from being locked into that yeah. parang time. Mm. So with building a business or having your own business, um, you're able to you're actually more open to how kung sarili mo oras. Yeah mas mas malaking potential mo to earn bigger mm-hmm. of course you need to take care of your taxes we, we, since that is going to be one of your obligations pero aside from that you're mas madali eh. mas it's a lot easier once your business is already self sustaining yeah yun yung pero, pero yung problema natin uh, once your your business is already self sustaining yeah. but getting to that self sustaining part is the hard part yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's why based based from experience it's hard Uh, building a business pag wala kang support mga 9 to 5 job you ha- you must build your business ng side lang mga oh side business and pero nung ano kasi hmm? you want me to but it was give, give you an yeah. example i'm learning from experience man <laughs> yeah. and based from experience it's really hard kaya kaya one reason why i started working again is because yun nga, i need to pay off things Oh, pero uh, if you remember one of your old businesses, hmm. si Lifestyle. That was. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were gonna mention that, it. Pero wala na naklose ko nito. That was self-sustaining uh, already. Pero yun hmm. nga. Well, I'm not sure why you closed that down. That's because I'm gonna focus on local. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, local. Yeah. Uh, pero um, if yun kasi that was already self-sustaining. So hmm. you're. You, That that business. That was a stupid move, I admit. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a uh, business na self-sustaining already. Na you didn't need to have a fixed job. Uh, diba? How self-sustaining? Uh, ano ba? Bigyan ko yung estimate. I was earning yung kin yung tinatrabaho ko ngayon ng two weeks na earn ko siya in a day. <laughs> Back then, oh, two weeks, eh, two weeks, half a week. One week. Yeah, parang sinasabi mo parang uh-huh. at least mga one week. Yeah, mga one week. Ganun. Yeah, yung, uh-huh. yung ano, parang a month's job for one week. Ganun. Tama. That's right. One week. Uh-huh. Diba? So, uh-huh. that's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Pero, yeah, again, building, having or having your own self-sustaining business is one of the best ways for you to, one, enjoy your life. Kasi uh-huh. hindi ka, you're not locked into anything. You're, yung stress mo siguro magagaling na lang talaga kung If your business is not performing well, mm-hmm. but during those stuff. times you get to learn a lot of things. Mm-hmm. You learn how to survive, how how you could uh, ano ba, plan ahead. Oh, paano mo i direct yeah, your resources? Mo, yeah. How to how to direct your resources? How to maximize your resources? Yeah. Then. Mm-hmm. And yun. So those are your options. Pero what we've actually been building the whole se- for the whole season. If you guys 
listened to our very first episodes for mm-hmm. especially for business. Say again, we have two episodes for Fridays. It's fitness or business. If you've been listening to our business episodes for the for the past season, we've actually been building towards you. We're, we're starting, encouraging you. Encouraging <laughs> starting uh, a business. Not quitting your job, but starting uh, a business or having that's a business. Right. Say, like my friend here, he has his own mm. he, he had a couple of other businesses before the one he has right now. So we just that, want you to succeed, guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even. And ano ba, have a com- comfortable life. Mm. Yeah, that is oh. the main reason why we're actually doing this. Not for ourselves, of course. Mm-hmm. We're doing this before because one, we enjoy it. Yep. And um, of course, for for us to be able to share knowledge as well, mm-hmm. or um, sharing how you can make your lives better. Diba? So those are just um, that was our main topic. Mm-hmm. Night, knowing when to quit your job. But again, of course, since this is gonna be the last episode, we will be having for our season yeah so we so, hope you guys learned a lot from the season especially in uh, uh, how to start your own business the, the uh-huh. things you need to um, you need to avoid you need to consider and you know, all that relationships and mental health yes. as well yeah fitness keeping yeah. yourself healthy <laughs> at least <Fitness>. yung mga basic <laughs> well we admit we, we don't really know a lot about fitness but we tried our physical best fitness, uh, yeah, physical fitness physical really fitness but again of course we did talk about some very relevant issues with the last mm-hmm. episode. Yeah, and it's worth ano ba, getting out there. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it is something that we need to address. So, yun, again, if you guys learned anything from any of our episodes, please like, share, comment, sh- subscribe. Share those episodes to your friends who you think would be... Um, who would learn or who would benefit from those episodes? Yeah, who would like yeah. or enjoy this oh. episode? And again, uh, this would be the last episode. And hindi pa namin sure kung kailan yung magiging season. Yeah. Prop- first and start na season two. Yeah. Uh, but Prop- during those times, uh, I'll be posting some post na iyan na namin some sa content. next platform. Yeah. Uh, content na ililipat namin sa YouTube because. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of planning on ano ba, focusing more on YouTube yeah, next season. Switching uh, over to YouTube. Because, one, for you to be able to see us as well. Say, mm. We don't really know what we look like. So. <laughs> well, Stay tuned. Kailan naman na siguro nila kung ano. Yeah, yeah, we, had, we have pictures yeah, there, but pictures. it's kind of not formal. Yeah. <laughs> pero, just silly. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just wait for our episodes. But again, mm. if you guys have any topic suggestions, even while we're, um, even if we are still waiting for, still con- well, still thinking about your season two. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you have, if, if you have any topics you want us to talk about, just uh, send us a message on Facebook. We would be compiling everything. That's right. So that yeah. we, so by the time that we have, or so by the time that, that the new season starts, we would be talking about those. Yeah. And. Yeah, if you have any suggestions, message us on Facebook, Crowdspeak PH on Facebook. And uh, Crowdspeak PH on Instagram. Yeah, and you can also send us a tweet on Twitter at Crowdspeak PH. And of course, again, since uh, we would be starting about uh, around uh, around November, November or October. That's, that's an about tentative. Yeah, that's yeah. tentative. Um, of course, while you're waiting for the new season to start, you can listen to our previous episodes mm-hmm. on our website. Again, that's crowdspeak.com. That's C-R-W-D-S-P-K dot com. Mm-hmm. And, and before we end this uh, episode, or this season, I would like to ano ba, uh, express our gratefulness or thanks yes. to the people who supported us along the way. The people who mm-hmm. were... Lis- listened in every episode or, you know, suggested topics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lang. And, yeah, please don't forget to follow us on our personal social, me- social media plat- plat- platform. <laughs> platform. Platform? The platform. That's, uh, uh, Instagram. Instagram at I- AGDRMS on Instagram. Yes, me. <laughs> and, uh, my name is Dax on Instagram. <laughs> Again, this is Crowdspeak, guys. See you next season. Say it louder. Say it louder, guys. <laughs> <laughs>